Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. Alrighty, uh, let's get back into our uh, item collection frenzy here. Uh, I am Draco Thubin, and enjoy! Alright, we just took out the uh, floor underneath where Mother Brain was before, and we get ourselves another missile pack. And we will continue on. Down the elevator into Brinstar. Old Brinstar, if you want to call it that. <sighs> Super long elevator. Great. Alright. Now we're going to go back to this room um, that we skipped earlier. Uh, because we didn't have everything that we needed. Because we do now. Okay, we want to take out these guys, um, because we're going to have to shine spark, and, uh, it's a good idea to have them out of the way so you can actually get as much room as possible. Um, haha, <laughs> I can't get an energy tank today. Alright, there we go. I think I've gotten that energy tank without the high jump before by doing a wall jump off here. Um, but I'm not sure about that. I can't remember um, if that's possible or not. But um, that was back when I was first learning the game and learning how to, uh, you know, get fast runs through this and stuff. So anyway, where you want to shine spark is right up there. Um, you can wall jump if you want to, but there's a the the block up at the top is bombable. Um, so you've got to. You've got to actually bomb that, or, uh, to be able to get through, so, actually, you know what, let's see. Let's, whoops. Man, I can't get that right. So you can power bomb that, and then... Haha, <laughs> we'll jump up there. So you don't have to shine spark either way, um... But, uh, in this upcoming room, there is a, uh, hidden platform that you want to jump up on top of. Right there. And there's a missile cartridge right there. And cleverly hidden is another missile cartridge right in the corner there. And then it tries to drop big boulders on you. And you just gotta bomb yourself out again. And hold to the right and you'll land on that little block there and it will um, drop you out. Pretty easy. So now that area is done. So now we got criteria taken care of, and we're starting on Brinstar. Uh, we're going to run and jump back over here, and this area, you can power bomb that and go through the door here to get some more power bombs. And after that, you can go ahead and bomb through this uh, area here. You don't have to power bomb, you can use regular bombs, but um, the power bombs hurt these guys, so it helps out. And then in through the door. Um, shortly here, we're going to be going back down and over that way, but over to the right. But first, we want to come back over here and uh, pick up the, the rest of the items that we need over here. So let's bomb here, go back down into the uh, charge beam area. Power bomb our way in here. You have to use a power bomb there. And come to a pink door. Okay, now this is where I'm actually going to take off the ice beam here because it's quicker to kill these guys and charge. Otherwise, you've got to freeze them and you'll run into them and you've got to kill them and charge again. So, 
And I'll leave it like that for a little bit and see if I can't uh, utilize the game without the ice cream for a while. Alright, back up here. Power bomb again. And bomb our way out. Alright. Power bomb the door here. Make sure you kill these guys and open the door. So you can get a kill them later. You need the wave beam to get in here, so make sure you uh, obviously have that first, which you should by now. And open up this door for another energy tank. We're picking up a lot of them, aren't we? We're stocked up now. Now we've got, what, nine? Nine energy tanks. So we've got 999 energy plus our reserve tanks. Not too shabby. Okay, go back up here and you can use the grappling beam or you can wall jump over to this uh, missile bay here. This missile power up, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to power bomb this wall here and go through the hidden wall. Right there. And at the end of this little area, there's a funny looking uh, part of the ground. That's actually a super missile uh, block. Let's go ahead and bomb through there, and, or shoot through there, and get another power bomb. You can bomb um, down there, which will raise a uh, platform, um, or you can just jump and morph ball out. Okay, we're done in that area, and we're going to move back out into the... Uh, main area here. Be careful you don't uh, speed boost over that bridge right there. You will fall down and you'll have to shine spark yourself back up. Um, there's nothing in the rooms on the left side of this uh, hallway, so you're just going to power bomb yourself down here. I'm trying to make up for a little bit of lost time here because I think I went the wrong way. I think I should have come around the other way, but not a huge deal. Alright. Make sure that you uh, jump to get this energy tank, because a couple squares back that you'll see shortly, there is a uh, pit that we're going to fall into. Super missile the door there, get some more super missiles. Alright. You're going to fall down to this pit right here. As you can see, it's three squares wide. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and jump through. Um, we're not going to stop for a whole lot either. Now having the freeze beam here helps because you can freeze those guys, but it's not necessary. And normally it's not even uh, that all that harmful, but I keep hitting the spikes and stuff. Okay, this is the room that you uh, learn how to wall jump in. Those guys will teach you, but... Looks like I do, but I really don't. So anyway, you're going to jump up there, roll into a morph ball, get your power bomb. Alright, that is uh, Brinstar and Criteria completed, or at least it should be, so... I'm going to head out here and head back to uh, Meridia next time on Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun.